such a situation cannot appear. Damn, just imagine, I can't do it! Whoa, Jared, gather yourself! What should I do with this? The fish. Where the hell are white details? Hello everyone, this is Cubastic and today, as you can see, I'm going to tell you about uh, some of my Rubik's Cubes. I chose uh, some puzzles by a Rubik's company for uh, today's video. I don't know why, maybe because uh, the most classic Rubik's Cube is a Rubik's Cube uh, by Rubik's company. I have on my desk today, as you can see, a classic cube and also I have a Rubik's Speed. This is the same original Rubik's, but uh, they made it in collaboration with the GAN company. As you understand, uh, Rubik's Speed is a speed cube. Uh, well, uh, you can also turn uh, this one fast, but uh, Rubik's Speed is much better for that purpose. I also have some unusual puzzles by Rubik's company. I have uh, this kind of 2x2 pyramids, uh, this version is uh, smaller than standard and it has an interesting feature, I'll tell you about it a little later. We also have a flat Rubik's Cube that we're going to learn to solve today. And I also have uh, this Rubik's Cube bear, he even has a name, his name is uh, Jared. Jared, say hello to everyone. Hey everyone! Jared is my good old friend, which usually helps me to solve puzzles, so let's support him in the comments. And by the way, write in the comments if you already know Jared, and what specific video with him you have seen. Well, folks, let's first uh, compare two similar but uh, different Rubik's Cube mechanisms. Probably a lot of you know uh, what a standard Rubik's Cube looks like. It's very popular and uh, in addition to this, it sounds really good. Let's listen. Nice, it has a really meditative sound, but this Rubik's Cube looks uh, and functions like it needs to be turned uh, like this. And that's how people learn to solve Rubik's Cube and solve their first Rubik's Cube. And the speedcubers already solve using only their fingertips and do it really quickly. And of course, for this they already need Rubik's Speed. Now I want to understand whether there is any difference for me as a speedcuber in solving ordinary Rubik's Cube or speed cube. Let's do two solvings one of which I'm going to do with a classic cube and another one using speed cube. I'm wondering. Ok, the cubes are already scrambled. While I'm solving, you can write in the comments your record time of solving cube, or write if you don't know how to solve it yet. I'll start with the classic one. Of course, I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can. And I think it's not... Uh... It's not even about uh, the mechanism, uh, it's about how good you are at uh, solving uh, Rubik's Cubes. Here I even screwed up a little bit. But still 21 seconds is a good result. Will it be better with a speed cube? Let's check. Let's scramble it a little bit more. Well, let's say 3, 2, start. Well, it differs uh, from the most speed cubes, uh, but it's better than uh, the previous version. Oh. 15 seconds, not my best result, but it's much better than a standard one. Ok, this is understandable, these are standard cubes, but if you want to find some extraordinary cubes, I recommend you to visit the Cubicle store. This is my favorite online puzzle store, which provides fast delivery, great service and high quality of goods. New awesome puzzles and Rubik's Cubes appear on their website almost every day. So check the link in the description to this video and use my special promo code CUBASTIC to get a discount. Ok, let's take a look at these cubes. They all look much easier than the classic 3x3 cube. Just look, there are even less details here. 
This Rubik's Cube, which is called flat, looks like it's uh, three times easier to solve than a normal Rubik's Cube. And this pyramid uh, has also really few details, as well as uh, the bear. But is it so easy to solve them? Let's figure this out right now. First, if you scramble a bear, which is nothing but a Rubik's Cube 2 by 3 by 1, then it's understandable why it will change its shape. It will change its shape because the shape of its details is not the same. The head doesn't match the ass and torso, they are just different size and shape. But it's even difficult to scramble it. Jared, what had happened to you? Jared, gather yourself! Jared! Okay, let's give him a chance, but later. But if we scramble these puzzles, they will change their shape despite the fact that all their details are completely the same. Look. We can manipulate uh, a flat Rubik's Cube uh, like this, but uh, there is a trick here. After turning it uh, partially, we can uh, turn other details. And uh, even there's only one detail left, we can also turn it. And that only adds more coolness and complexity to this puzzle. And uh, look what cool shapes we have come out of the Rubik's Cube, which was just flat few seconds ago. Now tell me, is it really easier to solve than a usual cube? How about that? Ok, what about the pyramids? Well, it's just so simple. The corners turn and that's it, and you just uh, put them back and uh, there's no difficulty at all. But the corners don't turn at all here. The mechanism itself is inside and the corners don't turn, it all works this way. The whole pyramid is spinning along the central lines, and it changes its form significantly and also mixes its colors. It's not even clear what direction you need to turn the sides, and now this puzzle looks much more difficult. Well, guys, all these puzzles look really simple, until you scramble them. Ok, let's try to solve each of them one after another. Let's start with Jared, and here as I understand uh, is quite simple. Oh, it is very simple, I have already understood, there are just not so many options how we can scramble this puzzle. Look, uh, literally three turns and Jared is already solved. Well done, it was very simple, I don't even need to explain how I did it. As uh, for the flat cube, uh, let's try. The first thing that we need to do is uh, not to solve it by color, but uh, simply bring it into a flat shape. Let's try. So it already looks like some flat part. But what to do next? What's wrong with these two things? Where do I put them? They look like rib elements and uh, we don't have any corners at all. And what to do with this ledge? That is the question. So I'm thinking, why don't we just put uh, this right here, on this side, and uh, turn this protruding thing around. Next, to turn it back, we're gonna go like this. Now we're gonna be free to spin this part and uh, we're gonna turn it back. And we do the same with this side. We remove it so that the thing turns and uh, we put it back. Flat shape, there is. It seems easy, but where the hell are our white details? The usual solving of the Rubik's Cube starts with the cross. For this you need to put four white details around the center. We don't have them at all, we have only one. We put it in its place, here it is, and where are the others? Where, you ask me? I say there is a secret. They are right here on the inner side. And in order to put them in place, I have to give them space to spin freely. This one and this one are spinning freely now, and then we also move the white up. Now we have the cross. Even look, uh, this thing was sold by accident. And how to swap these two things? By the way, even I don't know. Oh, there is one option, look. For example, we can put it so uh, that uh, on the contrary we have only one element and turn it in this way. 
That's it. Though it looked difficult, but we coped with this puzzle together with you and Jared really quickly. But the most difficult is on its way. The hardest part starts when we take the spearmints in our hands. And this is where it gets really hard. First of all, I couldn't deal with this puzzle for a long time until I realized what the mechanism was inside. It's like uh, when you turn it several times, uh, it's becoming clear. Oh, I even turned it uh, to pyramidal form really fast. It's becoming clear how it turns. But what does it look like? You won't believe it, but it looks like a standard Rubik's Cube 2x2. Inside this pyramids is the same stuff as in a normal Rubik's Cube 2x2. It's hard to imagine, but it is so. And to solve this pyramids, you have to think like you are solving a 2x2 cube. I've already forgot everything. <laughs> Can you imagine, even for me, this is quite difficult. Jeez, I can't do this, you know? I'm a little confused, so I need a hint. And just so you understand, I took a Rubik's Cube 2x2. Two two. See what it looks like and how it turns. We have four elements on each side and uh, it can be divided in mind in two layers, top and bottom or left and right. That seems to make sense. As uh, for this puzzle, here we have uh, the top layer where we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 details, just like here, 1, 2, 3, 4 details, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it rotates as a separate layer. We have the same thing on the opposite side, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's rotating. So we have to solve one layer and then another layer, which means uh, uh, we don't have to solve it like a pyramid uh, with uh, this first layer. But we have to put it together like uh, this is a whole layer. So we have to... we have a match, we have to put the yellow green and where is it? Here it is. It's already clear. So the yellow green one is there and we need to put a green center here. Where is it? Oh, we have it right here. I put it... Uh, here. And it turns out that the first solved layer looks like this. Now we have to put together the top layer. And this is more complicated task. Guys, in one of the following videos I'm going to solve two really extraordinary cubes. One of them is a cube which has only three faces. Subscribe and hit the bell not to miss out. As they say, if you don't know what to do, do the simplest algorithm. The fish. It seems it works. Fish again. One more time. Until I understand what's going on here. What other simple algorithm can we do? Jperm. Oh, as you can see, it already has the shape of the pyramid, but one thing is upside down. What do we need to turn over? It looks like this. But such a situation can't appear on a cube. Two corners have to be turned together. So we are going to assume uh, that uh, this center or uh, this one is going to turn, because if this one turns, its position is not going to change. But we can turn this one, so we have to turn two details, this triangular one and central. Let's try to do this. What algorithm should I use? Uh, this one? It will be quite difficult, or maybe I can use uh, uh, this kind of J-perm. Oh, that's a good idea. We do the fish here and then do it backwards. Guys, now Cubastic is also in Spanish. Subscribe. It has turned around, but it's not enough. We do the same thing again. And bingo! Rubik's Cube 2x2 pyramids 2x2 by Rubik's is sold. And 
I only have one question for you. No, two questions. First, did you like this video? If so, please hit the like button, I will be very pleased. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is my main channel dedicated to puzzles and now I want you to support it. Let's develop puzzle lovers content together. And the second question is, did you understand all the terms I said? Because I know there's a lot of new audience on my channel that don't know much about Rubik's Cubes. So I'm pretty sure that with this Cubastic channel you can learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube, then you will be able to solve some other cool puzzles, and most importantly, you can make fun of your friends who haven't learned to do it yet. Guys, I'm gonna teach you how to solve any puzzle on the planet. Just write down in the comments what puzzle you want to see in the next video. In the future, I want you guys to decide what I'm going to shoot on my channel. So thank you all so much for watching this video, that was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time!